In Europe, people once saw a society as consisting of separate classes, commoners and people of noble birth. Nobles and aristocrats had rights and privileges that common people didn't have. Nobles and aristocrats were thought of as superior people of superior blood, but that belief belongs to another age. Western society made moral progress, progress toward political and cultural equality, a belief that all people should have equal rights. That was liberalism as it emerged in Europe in the 18th and 19th centuries. Liberalism in the 18th and 19th centuries fought against elitism, not for it. It fought for the idea that people should advance based on their own merits their own skills and hard work, and not because they were born to a privileged class. Liberalism won the battle against aristocracy. Liberalism won so decisively that today we forget a battle had to be fought. In the Western world today, no one expects us to bow. No matter how rich or poor we are, the proper way to introduce ourselves is with a handshake, which implies that we're meeting as equals. Mundane, though that fact is, the very fact that it's mundane, that we take it for granted, it's inspiring when we look at history. The USA's Declaration of Independence says all men are created equal. What we were declaring is that our society is not hierarchical. It's not based on class or caste. We weren't declaring that we're all the same in every respect. The point is, we don't need to know. We don't need to know anything about each other to know that the differences between us have no bearing on the status and respect that goes with being a citizen. We expect equal treatment for all under the law. But liberal equality is complex. It recognizes that various dimensions of moral worth can be affected by our choices. For example, by how hard we work. And if some dimensions of our moral worth can be affected by our choices, it's not likely that there ever will be a time when we're all of equal worth along those dimensions. In fact, we don't even need to compare ourselves to other people. You'd see inequality even when just comparing yourself to yourself from one day to the next. You have good days and bad days. There are days when you get more done and days when your efforts are fruitless. That's a difference we see between the contributions that make up a single life. To say the least, we see differences in the contributions that make up different lives. In everyday life, genuine respect involves respecting the realities of how we distinguish ourselves as we develop our unique potentials in unique ways. Is that a problem? Not really, because the point of Western liberalism is not to stop us from becoming more worthy along dimensions where worth can be affected by choices, but to facilitate our becoming more worthy. Part of the Western liberal tradition of egalitarianism is the idea of a level playing field. In principle, a game is fair if everyone starts out with an even chance of winning. That's the ideal of equal opportunity. Everyone has an even chance. That doesn't mean that the ideal referee makes sure every game ends in a tie or declares a tie at the end of the game no matter what the actual score is. The point of a level playing field is to let the players play and hope the best team wins.